Hey, what's up guys? Steve here. And today we're going to take a look at the 50 highest selling 1987 through 1994 non-Michael Jordan basketball cards from the PWCC weekly auction that ended on December 3rd. I've been looking forward to sharing this one with you guys for over a week as this was by far the best mix of other players I've seen in these weekly auctions in over six months. I hope everyone enjoys today's extended top 50 list and I've even included 10 bonus cards for you guys as well. And we'll kick today's list off at number 50 with this 1993 Topps Penny Hardaway Rookie, card number 334. This rookie was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $28.80. Up next at number 49 is this 1990 Fleer David Robinson, card number 172. This second year card was in a PSA 10 and it also sold for $28.80. Coming in at number 48 is this 1992 Ultra Alonzo Morning Rookie, card number 234. This rookie was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $30. Sean Kemp makes his first of a couple of appearances on today's list at number 47 with his 1992 Topps Archives Gold, card number 136. This was a PSA 10 and it also sold for $30 even. Up next at number 46 is this 1990 Fleer Hakeem Olajuwon, card number 73. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $30 even. We're sticking to the 1990 Fleer basketball set at number 45, this time with this Scottie Pippen card number 30. This was a PSA 10 and it also sold for $30. Coming in at number 44 is this 1994 Topps Franchise Futures Grant Hill Rookie Card number 8. This rookie was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $31.20. Coming in at number 43 is this 1991 Upper Deck Larry Bird, card number 344. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $31.20. David Robinson makes another appearance on today's list at number 42, this time with his card from the 1991 Upper Deck Basketball Set with card number 324. This was a PSA 10 and it also sold for $31.20. And make that three straight cards from the inaugural 1991 Upper Deck Basketball set at number 41. This time with this Larry Bird with card number 77. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $31.20. Up next at number 40 is this 1991 Skybox USA John Stockton, card number 539. This was a PSA 10 and it also sold for $31.20. Coming in at number 39 is this 1994 Hoops Gold Mine Dennis Rodman, card number 448. This was a PSA 10 
and it sold for $33.60. We get another mid-90s rookie at number 38. With this 1994 Skybox Emotion Jason Kidd rookie, card number 20. This rookie was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $33.60. We're back to the 1992 Topps Archives basketball set at number 37 with this gold Patrick Ewing with card number 64. This was a PSA 10 and it also sold for $33.60. We get our first Shaq rookie card at number 36 with his 1992 Upper Deck MVP holograms rookie with card number 35. This rookie was in a BGS9, and it sold for $34.80. Coming in at number 35 is this 1991 Upper Deck Magic Johnson, card number 45. This was a PSA 10, and it also sold for $34.80. Up next at number 34 is this 1990 Fleer Tim Hardaway rookie, card number 63. This rookie was in a PSA 10 and it sold for just short of $40. The Worm makes another appearance on today's list at number 33 with this 1990 Fleer Dennis Rodman, card number 59. This was a PSA 10, and it also sold for $39.60. Charles Barkley makes his first appearance on today's list at number 32 with his 1990 Fleer card number 139. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for just over $40. Up next at number 31 is this 1994 Skybox Emotion Hakeem Olajuwon, card number 38. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $42 even. We get another classic junk wax era basketball rookie to kick off the top 30 with this 1990 Fleer Sean Kemp rookie, card number 178. This rookie was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $43.20. Up next at number 29 is this 1990 Fleer Larry Bird, card number eight. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $44.40. We're sticking to the 1990 Fleer basketball set at number 28, this time with this Magic Johnson card number 93. This was also a PSA 10, and it sold for $45.60. Coming in at number 27 is this 1994 Hoops Grant Hill Rookie, card number 322. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $49.20. We're back to the 1992 Topps Archives basketball set at number 26 with this gold Hakeem Olajuwon, card number 54. 
This was a PSA 10, and it also sold for just short of $50. Up next at number 25 is this 1994 Skybox Emotion Shaquille O'Neal, card number 70. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $50.40. Coming in at number 24 is this 1990 Hoops Gary Payton Rookie Auto, card number 391. This rookie was a PSA DNA authenticated auto, and it also sold for just over $50. Up next at number 23 is this 1992 Hoop Shack rookie, card number 442. This rookie was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $56.40. Coming in at number 22 is this 1992 Stadium Club Shack Rookie, card number 247. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $74.40. Make that three straight Shack Rookies at number 21 with his 1992 Ultra Rookie with card number 328. This rookie was also in a PSA 10, and it sold for just short of $80. And we're back to the inaugural 1991 Upper Deck Basketball set to kick off the top 20 with this Magic Johnson versus Michael Jordan, card number 34. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $86.40. Up next at number 19 is this classic 1992 Top Shack Rookie, card number 362. This rookie was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $88.80. Coming in at number 18 is this 1991 Skybox Sean Kemp Auto, card number 584. This card was authenticated by PSA given a 10 grade for the auto and it sold for $96 even. Make that back to back appearances for Sean Kemp at number 17 with this 1990 Fleer Sean Kemp Rookie Auto, card number 178. This card was also authenticated by PSA and given a 10 grade for the auto, and it sold for just over $100. Scotty Pippen makes another appearance on today's list at number 16 with his 1988 Fleer Rookie with card number 20. This rookie was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $110.80. We welcome a newcomer to today's list at number 15 with this 1992 Fleer Rookie Sensations Dikembe Mutombo Auto, card number 7. This card was authenticated by PSA and given a 10 grade for the auto, and it sold for $115.20. Up next at number 14 is this 1994 Ultra Grant Hill Rookie, card number 239. This rookie was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $117.60. Coming in at number 13 
is this 1994 Skybox Emotion Excited Jason Kidd Rookie. Card number 7. This rookie was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $126. We get another Grant Hill rookie at number 12 with his 1994 Upper Deck rookie with card number 157. This rookie was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $132. Coming in at number 11 is this 1992 Ultra Shack Rookie Auto card number 328. This rookie auto was in a PSA 8 with a 10 grade for the auto, and it sold for $132. And make that back-to-back -back Shaq rookies to kick off the top 10 with this 1992 Classic Draft Picks rookie, card number 1. This rookie was in a PSA 10, and it also sold for $132. Up next at number 9 is this 1994 Skybox Emotion Intense Alonzo Morning, card number 6. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $138. Coming in at number 8 is this 1992 Fleer Shack Rookie, card number 401. This rookie was in a PSA 10 and it also sold for $138. Up next at number 7 is this 1994 Ultra All Rookies Grant Hill Rookie, card number 2. This rookie was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $186. Coming in at number 6 is this 1992 Top Shack Rookie Auto, card number 362. This rookie was authenticated by PSA given a 10 grade for the auto and it sold for $222. And before we get to the top five, I do have 10 bonus cards to share with you guys today. And we'll start with this 1991 Fleer Pro Visions Charles Barkley, card number three. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $27.60. Also just missing today's list, heading back to the 1991 Upper Deck Inaugural Basketball Set. We get this Dennis Rodman card number 185. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $27.60. Whenever I do these bonus cards, I'm always looking for basketball cards that we don't see on a weekly basis. And up next is this 1992 Skybox USA basketball plastic card. This was a PSA 8 and it also sold for $27.60. If you have never checked out the 1992 Archives basketball set from Tops, this is actually one of my favorite basketball card sets from the Junk Wax era. And I ran across this 1992 Tops Archives Gold Scotty Pippen, card number 97. This gold parallel was in a PSA 10 and it also sold for $27.60. For another Penny Hardaway rookie that just missed today's list, we get this 1993 Hoops rookie, card number 380. This rookie was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $26.40. For another Charles Barkley, we get this 1991 Upper Deck, card number 345. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for just over $20. 
And another player we don't see too often headed back to the 1992 Topps Archive set. We get this gold Isaiah Thomas card number 20. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $20.40. Sticking to the same 1992 Topps Archive set, we get this gold Carl Malone, card number 66. This was a PSA 10, and it also sold for just over $20. And I don't run across too many basketball cards from the 1993 Fleer basketball set. And up next is Hakeem Olajuwon's base card with card number 230. This was a PSA 10, and it also sold for $20.40. And for our 10th and final bonus card, we get one of the all-time greats that we usually don't get to see on these weekly auctions that covers 1987 through 1994, with this 1987 Fleer Julius Irving, card number 35. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $18 even. And getting back to today's list, kicking off the top five, is this 1993 Upper Deck Shack, card number 300. This second year Shack was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $252. Up next at number four is this 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team Shack Rookie, card number 21. This rookie insert was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $312. Coming in at number three is this 1992 Skybox Shack Rookie, card number 382. This rookie was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $360. Up next at number two is this 1993 Hoops Magic Johnson and Larry Bird Dual Auto, card number MB1. This card was authenticated by PSA, given a 10 grade for the Dual Auto, and it sold for $372. And we get our first four-figure sale to top off today's list at number one with this 1992 Upper Deck Shack Rookie, card number one. This rookie was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $1,530. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.